Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you to the Private City Council Tuesday, March 15, 2016 meeting. We do have a public hearing tonight on three items. Madam Clerk, you call the roll, please. Councilor Striplin? Here. Councilor Wood? Here. Councilor Brown? Here. Councilor Starnes? Here. Councilor Whiteside? Here. Councilor Balls? Councilor Boone? Here. First of all, let me just know Councilor Bowles is, is out at uh, attending his daughter's graduation. So his constituents will be aware. We're going to go into this public hearing. The first item is a resolution to grant a restaurant retail beer on all premises and retail table wine on all premises to Coffee House Holdings Incorporated doing business Starbucks 2585. Is there anyone here to speak on this resolution? Seeing none, I declare the public hearing closed on item number one. Item number two is an ordinance to amend chapter 105, buildings and building regulations of the code of ordinance of the city of Prattville. Is anyone here to speak on behalf of this? Seeing none, I declare the public hearing closed on that item. Number three is an ordinance to amend chapter 26, fire prevention and protection, article two. Fire Prevention Code, Section 26-42, Code Adopted Penalty of the Code of Ordinance of the City of Prep. Anyone here to speak on this item? With that, I declare the public hearing is closed on those items. I'm going to ask that you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance of the American flag and remain standing for our invocation. pray. Oh, gracious God, we come as humble as we know how. Lord, we thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for food, clothing, and shelter. We give you the glory. We give you the honor and the praise. Ask your Lord, forgive us for our sin, for all of us have sinned and fallen short of your glory. Now, Lord, we ask that you'll be with us as we conduct the businesses of this city. Guide our tongue, guide our mind. Be with those who are here with us tonight in these chambers. Now, Lord, be with those who are fighting in harm's way and be with their families. Be with those families who are bereaved, for there are many. There are many families who have lost their homes through floods, through tornadoes, or uh, other means, Lord. Provide for them and comfort them. When we depart here tonight, allow us to arrive safely into our destination. In your name we pray. Amen. Madam Clerk, call the roll, please. Yes, sir. Councilor Striplin? Here. Councilor Wood? Here. Councilor Brown? Here. Councilor Starnes? Here. Councilor Whiteside? Here. Councilor Bowles? Councilor Boone? Here. I call this private city council meeting to order. Character trait of the month is patience, taking the time necessary to work through a difficult situation. This time, I'm going to ask for approval of minutes, public hearing, and city council meeting March 1, 2016. Do we have a motion? Second. We have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor of approval, signify by raising your right hand. <coughs> and those minutes of approval. At this time, I noticed before I go into comments from persons present that we have Scout Troop, I believe, number 156. I'm going to take this opportunity to ask their scout leader if he's here to stand with these young men, introduce them, or say if anything that they like to say. Glad to have him here. That'll be fine. They're with 156. They're all working on their communications or citizenship and community merit badges. They're all trying to learn how city council and city business functions. We were hoping for a real heated council meeting. <laughs> um, it's about 90 degrees. That's about hot as it's going to In attendance, we have um, John Hudak, Kate Grimo, Adam Holscher, Colton Grimo, Ryan Holscher, Gabriel Risman, and then two other adult leaders. 
and they're just here to observe and they have to write a short report about what they see. Good, thank you. Let's get those young men a hand for working on that badge. We wish them well. At this time, we have comments from persons present regarding tonight's agenda. Anyone, raise your hand, please, if you wish to speak on tonight's agenda. Mayor, you have a report? Yes. It is good to see our future drivers. I have the mayor, city council president, um, governor, no, no telling what. So glad to see you guys out there because you are uh, our next generation. So glad to have you here. Well, Mr. President, if I might ask for a point of privilege. Yes, and at sir. this time, ask uh, yes. Chief Thompson to come up and uh, introduce uh, one of our new work family members. Mr. Ray. Um, Y'all know how much of a pleasure this is to announce this tonight because this is one of the most important people in my department. And I'll let him introduce him, but this is our new code enforcer, and I'll let him introduce himself. Thank you. My name is Ray Rice, and uh, I started as code enforcer here February 29th. Uh, I retired from the Federal Bureau of Prisons after 24 years of service with the federal government. And prior to that, I was in the Army, full-time Army, for five years. And I grew up here in Prattville, and uh, glad to be back home. I'm married, got two kids. One's deceased already, but uh, my daughter lives in Birmingham. Two grandchildren, so I'm glad to be home and uh, proud to be working in the city of Prattville. Well, as we all know, one of our roles in, in the municipal government is helping people be good neighbors, and, and um, through the position of our code enforcer, that's one of his biggest tasks there. But moving right on along, um, we all know that spring is in the air. The because the cars are turning yellow. And with that said, it's time for baseball, softball, apple pie, and spring break. Hope everyone remembers Easter because that is just uh, one of the most important times of, um, of our year. But uh, Saturday night, we attended the Fountain City Arts Festival dinner honoring the artists and all. I want to thank Barbara Simpson, Brittany Glenn, the Arts Council, and Kelly Cook for all their hard work in pulling off a great event. Barbara obviously took great care of our guests because Nall donated a piece of art to our gallery next door at the Scott House, and I hope anybody finds time to go by and, uh, and check that out. Fountain City Arts Festival will be held on Saturday, April 2nd in Pratt Park, and we hope you all be there also. City of Prattville was featured in this month's Alabama Municipal Journal magazine, and I hope you all have time to read that and just talk so much about our social media program there. But, Mr. President, that said... That's the end of my report. Thank you, Mayor. Does anyone have any questions or comment for the mayor at this time? Thank you. Thank you. Again, we, I'm going to take the opportunity to com commend uh, Teresa Lee on that digital engagement article that's in the Alabama Municipal Journal. Very fine article. And uh, Mr. Ray Rice, uh, welcome to the city of Providence. This is the growing season. Good time to have you aboard. This time we have a report from council committees, Council Stripless. Yes. Council Brown? Yes, sir. Council Stearns? Yes, sir. Council Whiteside? No, sir. Council Boone? Yes, sir. Report now on status of the city finances from the finance director. Everyone should have the uh, financial packet in front of you. Uh, this is for the month of February. The first sheet in the packet is the revenue report. Uh, showing that we have currently received 48.41% of our budgeted revenues for the year. Uh, we, at this point in the year, we are 1.5% up from last, um, last year this month. Uh, the next sheet in the packet is the tax breakdown comparison, showing all the different tax line items and how they fared for the month of February. Uh, you will see that on the tax side of the house, we were up 13.15% for the month of February, so it was a very, very strong month for us. Next sheet in the packet is the expense by department. Uh, you will see everybody's running right in line where they should be for the, um, for the month of February. Um, so far in the uh, budget year, we have spent 38.13% of our budgeted funds. Um, so we're run, running right in line where we should be. Uh, the next sheet in the packet is the wastewater enterprise fund income statement. Uh, you will see that they're running right in line where they should be uh, as far as their revenues are concerned uh, and their 
the expenses are actually holding back, uh, so that's very positive for them. Uh, also to note on the wastewater fund, we actually paid off the SRF that, um, that you all uh, passed at the last meeting. We uh, paid that off today, so that's uh, been taken care of. Uh, the next sheet in the packet is the Sanitation and Enterprise Fund Income Statement. Uh, you will see that they're running right in the line with where they should be for the month of February as far as their revenues and their uh, expenses are holding back. Uh, so that's very positive. We should be getting the uh, rest of the equipment for them uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, the next sheet in the packet is the Judicial Special Revenue Fund Income Statement for the month of February. Uh, you will see that their revenue is still kind of lagging a little bit uh, for the year. Um, this month is a big month for them with tax refunds and stuff coming in, so we should see the revenue jump up on that. Uh, but you will also see that their, re their expenses are holding back also, so they're doing what they can to hold back expenses. The next sheet in the packet is the uh, bank account balances for the month of February. You'll see that the balance of all city accounts at the end of February uh, 2016 was $21,942,114.70. Uh, you'll see two new accounts um, in the Capital Projects Fund. One of those is the Capital, um, I'm sorry, the Parks and Rec Reserve account. Uh, after the Parks and Rec plan that came out this last year, uh, the mayor and I, after having some discussions, decided we needed to start setting some, set some money aside for some of these projects all along so that's why it doesn't hit us so much all in one year uh, so that's the reason we have started that account uh, you also see the transportation reserve account uh, we also have several very large transportation projects uh, coming up in the next several years uh, and so we're trying to start setting some money aside for those as well uh, the next sheet in the packet is the um, accounts balance uh, uh, sorry accounts payable balances as of uh, February 2016, the balance of all city debt and accounts payable was $38,425,199.38. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions or comments for Mr. Mosley at this time? Thank you. We're going to our agenda. We do have a consent agenda to consider tonight. We have seven items to consider for a consent agenda. Resolution number one is to reappoint Gene R. Canavan to the Education Building Authority. Number two is to appoint Jerry Keith Cantrell to the Education Building Authority. Number three is a resolution to appoint Jenny D. Nelson to the Education Building Authority. Number four is to grant a restaurant retail beer on and off premises and retail table wine on our premises to Coffee's House Holdings Incorporated doing business at Starbucks 20585. Number five, a resolution naming voting delegates and alternates for the Alabama League Municipalities Annual Convention in Huntsville. Number six is to surplus one vehicle from the police department. And number seven is a resolution to set a public hearing to declare various weedy lots to be a public nuisance and ordinary abatement per Title 11, Chapter 67 of the Code of Alabama, 1975, as amended. Do we have a motion to place these seven items on a consent agenda? Second. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. We'll be in a discussion. All in favor of placing these seven items on a consent agenda, signify by raising your right hand. And these items have been placed on a consent agenda. Do we have a motion to adopt the consent agenda? So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Will be any discussion on any of these seven items? All in favor of adoption, signify by raising your right hand. And the consent agenda has been adopted. We'll move further in our agenda. The first item is an ordinance to petition for annexation of various lots in the Glenbrook subdivision. Phase two, Councilor Brown, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Prattville, Alabama, that the City of Prattville is a city with a population of over 6,000 inhabitants located in the state of Alabama, and that it has been presented by petition by all owners of property located and contained which are contiguous to the corporate limits of the City of Prattville as they are now situated. 
and that the property described in the petition sought to be annexed is as described in attachment A and shown in attachment B, and that said property does not lie within the corporate limits of any other municipality, and that all owners as defined by section 114220 Code of Alabama 1975 as amended have executed said petition requesting the property be annexed into the city of Prattville and that the City of Prattville finds that it is to the best interest of the City of Prattville and its inhabitants to annex said property, and that the City Council of the City of Prattville finds that the petition has met all requirements of Title 114220 through 114223, Code of Alabama, 1975, as amended. Be it further ordained by the City Council of the City of Prattville, Alabama, that the corporate limits of the City of Prattville be extended and rearranged so to as, so as to embrace and include the following property as described in attachment A and shown in attachment B, and that such property shall become a part of the corporate area of Prattville, Alabama upon passage and publication of this ordinance as required by law. Be it further ordained that a copy of this petition be filed in the office of the Judge of Probate of Otauga County, Alabama, and that this ordinance be published in the Prattville Progress of Otauga County, Alabama. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? We have a second. Being an ordinance of permanent nature, the rules must be suspended in order to be considered. Do we have a motion to suspend the rules? So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor of suspension of the rules signify by raising your right hand. And the rules have now been suspended. Be any further discussion on this ordinance? All in favor of adoption signify by raising your right hand. And this ordinance is adopted. Number two is an ordinance also to amend Chapter 105, Buildings and Building Regulations of the Code of Ordinance of the City of Prattville. Councilor Starnes, will you read it, please, and just read the heading. It's a rather lengthy. Just read the heading, please. Yes, sir. Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Prattville, Alabama, that Chapter 105, Buildings and Building Regulations of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Prattville is hereby amended. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? second? We have a second. This being an ordinance also, the rules must be suspended in order to be considered. We have a motion to suspend the rules. So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor of suspension of the rules, signify by raising your right hand. And the rules have now been suspended. There be any further discussion on this ordinance? All in favor of adoption, signify by raising your right hand. And this ordinance is adopted. Number three is an ordinance also to amend Chapter 26, Fire Prevention and Protection, Article 2, Fire Prevention Code, Section 26.42, Code Adopted Penalty of the Code of Ordinance of the City of Prattville. Councilor Whiteside, will you read? Uh, yes, Mr. President. Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Prattville that Chapter 26 Fire Prevention and Protection, Article 2, Fire Pre Prevention Code, Section 26-42, Code Adopt a Penalty of the Code of Ordinance of the City of Prattville is hereby amended as follows. So, uh, so moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. It's being an ordinance also. The rules must be suspended. We have a motion. So moved. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. We have a second. All in favor of suspension of the rules, signify by raise your right hand. And the rules have been suspended. We'll be in a discussion on this ordinance. All in favor of adoption, signify by raise your right hand. And this ordinance is adopted. Item number four is a resolution to enter into an agreement with Silver Southeast to provide construction engineering and inspection services in the amount not to exceed $120,236 net cost to the city for the resurfacing of East Main Street from U.S. Highway 31 to Shady Oak Lane for project number STP AA-780-4, parenthesis 604. Councilor Brown, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas the City of Prattville has identified the need to resurface East Main Street from U.S. Highway 31 to Shady Oak Lane, and whereas the City of Prattville has entered into an agreement with the Alabama Department of Transportation to have this work performed, and whereas the Alabama Department of Transportation requires construction, engineering, and inspection services for this work, and whereas the Alabama Department of Transportation has approved Civil Southeast 
to perform these duties. And whereas the Alabama Department of Transportation will reimburse the City of Prattville for 100% of said cost. Now therefore be it resolved that the City Council of the City of Prattville hereby authorizes the Mayor to enter into an agreement with Civil Southeast to perform construction, engineering, and inspection services for resurfacing East Main Street from U.S. Highway 31 to Shady Oak Lane in an amount not to exceed $120,236 at, at zero net cost to city. Be it further resolved that the City Council of the City of Prattville does hereby authorize and empower the Mayor of the City of Prattville to execute any and all documents necessary to have this work performed for and on behalf of the City of Prattville. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. We've been in discussion on this item. All in favor of adoption, signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. Item number five is a resolution to release funds for the purchase of one Kubota 2D3 26872 more through state contract T225 from Capital Tract Incorporated for the Urban Management Department at a cost of $13,460. Councilor Boone, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas there is a need for one Kubota 2D326H72 mower in the Urban Management Department, and whereas said mower is available through state contract T225 from Capital Tractor Incorporated at a cost of $13,460, and whereas said mower is a budgeted expense for the Urban Management Department. Now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Prattville that funds in the amount of $13,460 are hereby authorized and approved to be paid to Capital Tractor Incorporated, and said funds are approved and appropriate created from fiscal year 2016 budget, line item urban management capital outlay. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Will it be in discussion on this item? All in favor of adoption, signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. Item number six, resolution to release funds for the purchase of one Toros. 60-inch grandstand more through National IPA purchasing cooperative contract number 9281 from Prattville Outdoors for the Urban Management Department at a cost of $8,384.02. Councilor Boone, will you read it, please? Yes, sir. Whereas there is a need for one Toro 60-inch grandstand mower in the Urban Management Department, and whereas said mower is available through National IPA Purchasing Co-op contract number 9281 from Prattville Outdoors at a cost of $8,384.02, and whereas said mower is a budgeted expense for the Urban Management Department, now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Prattville that funds in the amount of $8,384.02 are hereby authorized and approved to be paid to Prattville Outdoors and said funds are approved and appropriated from fiscal year 2016 budget line item urban management slash capital outlay. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. We'll be in a discussion on this item. All in favor of adoption signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. Item number seven is a resolution to release funds for the purchase of one Walker MT-23 more through the state contract T-25 from Capital Tract Incorporated for the Urban Management Department at a cost of $13,119.99. Councilor Boone, will you read it, please? <laughs> Yes, sir. Whereas there is a need for one Walker MT-23 mower in the Urban Management Department, and whereas said mower is available through state contract T-225, number 4013275 from Capital Tractor Incorporated at a cost of $13,119.99. And whereas said mower is a budgeted expense for the Urban Management Department, now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Prattville that funds in an amount of $13,119.99 are hereby approved and authorized to be paid to Capital Tractor Incorporated, and said funds are approved and appropriated from fiscal year 2016 budget, line item urban management slash capital outlay. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. We have any discussion on this item? All in favor of adoption, signify by raising your right hand. And this item is adopted. That exhausts our agenda for tonight. At this time, we have comments from person present on any item that you wish to speak on. Raise your hand, come to the microphone. Mayor, you have any closing comments? No. Councilor Strickland? No, sir. Council Brown? Yes, sir. I'd just like to say thank you to Joel Duke and his staff and to the Homeowners Association group and Mr. Norris 
for the um, all the hard work that went into this annexation. It took a long time, and so thank you for your patience as well. Councilor Stern. Yes, sir. I just want to say, wow, what a great reception for the soldiers of the 217th MP Company. Mm -hmm. I want to thank everyone, and I may miss someone, but please forgive me. First, thank you to the citizens of Prattville for showing the support to the soldiers. Second, thank you, Mayor Bill Gillespie, Teresa Lee, Lisa, Lisa Byard, Chief Mark Thompson, the Prattville Police Department, Chief Terry Brown, the Prattville Fire Department, Kelly Cook, the Parks and Recreation Department, Christy Piper, Patty Vanderwall, Melody Covert, the Prattville Chamber of Commerce Military Committee, Sheriff Joe Senninger, the Talk County Sheriff's Office, Marty Roney of the Prattville Progress, WSFA, and WAKA. The welcome home of the 217th MP Company was a success. My measurement of the success was having at least one soldier appreciate the welcome home from the city of Prattville. I'm quoting from the Prattville Progress. This welcome the unit received in Prattville impressed Specialist Tyree Carter. He's a student at Tuskegee University. He said it was great to see the turnout and see everyone, everyone here, he said. We were really surprised to see the people lining the streets and the escort got us here quickly. Then another soldier, I, I didn't recall his name or anything, was on WAKA, stated, it was great to see his family and friends, but it was awesome to see the support from Prattville. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Whiteside. No, sir. Councilor Boone. Yes, sir. Quickly, I'd like to say welcome to Mr. Rice. Um, if it were up to me and we had the money, we would hire six more just like you in each district would have one because you're going to find out very quickly that multiplied times seven, you have quite a job to do. I will be calling you frequently. So welcome aboard like me now. <laughs> At this time, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank everyone, all the employees for what you do. Thank this council. Thank the mayor's union. and thank you to public for coming. We, we appreciate um, everyone. We do have to go into executive session tonight um, to discuss economic development. So I'm going to ask that uh, we have a vote to go into executive session. All of the comments have been have been made. Uh, we will only come back out to adjourn. So. At this time, we have a vote to go in executive session. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. We have a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 <laughs> Let it be known at 630, we are returned to executive session for economic development, and we hope to return within one hour, at least within one hour. Let the clerks, clerks show that we are out of executive session. It's 741. It's 741. We are out. Uh, being no further business, we have a motion to adjourn. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. aye.